Hey, hey, it is Miguel back and I'm so excited to bring you guys this message today. Today, I want to talk to you guys about true agency and really what it means. According to a church leader, Robert Hales, he says, we teach that agency is the ability and privilege God gives us to choose and, and check this out, act for ourselves and not to be acted upon. But some of you might be thinking, well, I choose to be angry and that is my choice and I'm choosing it, right? Well, if that is your choice, you are living a horrible life. See, humans weren't created to be angry and have a horrible life. We were created to have joy. Now, from a father's standpoint, I want you to I want you to think about it like this. The children that I brought into this world, I want them to be happy in life. I didn't bring them for them to be moping and sad and look like they just finished eating a lemon. And when they are happy and they have joy and when they're laughing and just enjoying life, that makes my joy full as well and complete. See, the same thing with us. God is our father and he gave us life. And life is meant for us to have joy. Now, let's be honest. There are people that hate life and just have evil in their hearts. We cannot let them drag us down. I want you to take a look at these verses for a second. I was reading in Mark chapter 3, and I found this to be very, very interesting. And, and read with me. And he, meaning Christ, entered into the synagogues, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him whether he would heal them on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he said unto that man, which he had the wither hand, stand forth. And he said unto them, Is it lawful to do good on a Sabbath day or to do evil, to save a life or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked around them about with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto them, Stretch forth thy hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. And the Pharisees went forth straightway, took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. Now, there are a couple of things that we learn from these small verses. Three things in particular. These men, when they went to church, to the synagogues, they actually didn't go there to worship. They actually went there to find some way to destroy Christ. So they went to do evil, okay? Number two, the Sabbath was meant to do good, but they were planning his death, breaking the Sabbath themselves. Kind of ironic that they were doing the exact same thing that he was being accused of. And the third thing that we learned, that even after the miracle, they still planned on his death. Two major things that I want to talk to you guys about being angry. One, from a medical standpoint, long-term physical effects of uncontrolled anger can actually increase anxiety, high blood pressure, and massive headaches. And two, the spiritual thing that we learn, which is from the passage that we learn, when you are angry, you miss some of the greatest gifts of life, even life itself. Listen, good things will come your way. It is in your stars, I promise you. But don't choose to be negative all the time because by doing so, you will miss some of the greatest miracles that life has to offer. Count your many blessings, choose to be happy. And while you're at it, make sure that you bring a smile to the person beside you, somebody else in your life. I promise you life will be so much sweeter. This is my message for today. As always, do me a huge, massive favor and share this message out. You can actually be saving and helping somebody's life. Also do me a huge favor. Make sure that you follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the information is listed down below. Remember that progression is not a destination, but a daily habit. Love you all. See you guys next week. Peace. Let's play a little what if. What if I give a jerk a million dollars? What would I get? I would get a jerk with a million dollars. What if I give